Welcome to my review of the Dali Oberon 9 speakers. These are in the Oberon range and yours truly has not listened to the other speakers in this range. I did get to listen to the Opticon 6 Mark II and the Rubicon 2, as all were in the same price range. But I chose the Dali Oberon mostly because of the immense sound pressure, especially in the bass. But let's leave sound well enough alone for a moment. The main reason I chose these speakers, seriously, yes, the main reason, was because of their mere size. They reminded me of the huge Dolly Concept 10 speakers I owned many years ago, and there's just something special when you own truly huge speakers. More and more companies go for smaller speakers and speakers that blend into your surroundings. Companies feel the need for a more discreet approach to speakers and see that this is the way to go. I guess this is the result in general of music being in the state that it is on all fronts in 2022. So it is truly something special that Dolly has chosen to do 180 and again produce a really large speaker which isn't high end money. These are not possible to hide away, any place. Any owner of the Oberon 9 wants to show off his music interest and wants to blow you away with the movies as well. The owner of these speakers isn't shy to share with everybody that speakers shouldn't be hidden away but stand tall for all to see and inspire to play loud, whatever the occasion may be. Because with the Oberon 9 you really can have your cake and eat it too as both ears and eyes will be pleased with the Oberon 9. There are two colors to choose from, and while the black color is nice, the walnut color is in a different league and the color I chose. So we have to recognize Dolly for this feat. Not many popular brands dare to go the other way, when everything has to be smaller and more discreet and invisible to satisfy sales figures. So congratulations Dolly! Oh yeah! I too want it big, or else I go home. It took me longer than usual to break in these beauties. A whooping 200 hours was required to get the sound that I was looking for with them. But once I got there, I was in heaven again, as I was in Haifa Club and some weeks before. These Dali speakers actually have a sound signature that bends the dark side of the spectrum. So yes, they are not overly bright, but not without that magic Dali spark that Dolly is known for. The mid-range is not as flamboyant like many other alternatives, but does the job by all means. It is just that in the mid-range it is very neutral, but it is in the bass that these speakers really shine, and here the bass is nowhere near neutral. The bass hits like a truck, and if you feed these speakers the full 150 watts that they require to perform at their max efficiency, you will not need a subwoofer. Yes, that is a promise. As these speakers are a bit darker, Hegel really brings out the best out of these beasts. And if you can afford it, it's also the amplifier, which is the perfect match with these speakers and the amplifier I recommend for them as well. The sound of the Obro 9 actually remind me a little bit of the Klipsch R51PM. They got that same dark sound signature. But of course, the Dolly has more spark in the high range and, well, the bass. Even though the R51PM can produce a little bit of bass, uh, they're really outgunned here. So, yeah. But these speakers have replaced my LP speakers, as the R51PM has been sold. So my new speakers are connected to my LP player. So for my test this time, I will actually test more LP music that is a little bit too harshly recorded for normal speakers but fit perfectly with the Oberum 9s. Some of you have complained that the music test is a little bit long so I'll try to shorten it this time but I've had success not talking over the music so I'll just leave floating texts like usual so you can read if you want. Please enjoy.
Conclusion. If you're on a budget, there really is no other speaker for you. If you're interested in Dolly, forget Epicon, forget Rubicon, and forget Opticon. The Oberon 9 has blown me away with their immense bass, neutral sound quality, and spark in the high ranges. I give this speaker a 10 out of 10, and can't wait to play my LPs more wonderful magical hours thank you for watching take care bye bye